But like, I like I like thinking of Shia in in my own personal way that yeah, I yeah. thought of when I was younger. That's fine. I, thought, <laughs> I know this isn't true at all, but I was like, he's a super gay, a super gay bunny boy who makes videos with other super gays, and I loved it. Yeah, that's, that's, reality honestly, I'm sitting here and it's like, like I grew up like watching Doryu and watching Shia and differently and all them, right? And uh, what's it called? It feels weird now because like I look back and it was like 2013. I was looking up to them and now I'm friends with them and it's like, goddamn. <laughs> and that's just like, uh, what's it called? I don't. I would say that I feel like I am, I'm a friend of Sunny. And Sunny Caillou. No, no, no. Uh, Sunny Day. Any last girlfriend? Oh, okay. See, I don't know any of those. Yeah, I feel like I'm a friend with her. Just from hanging out with them at TwitchCon and that. Well, most of the time, if you're friends with one person in a relationship, normally you, you can't be friends with one for too long, so I'm sure you're considered a friend from both. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, I feel bad, though, because Sunny asked me to stop, like, donating to her, right? And, like, at the same time, like, I know it's not the case, but in my mind, I feel like sometimes the only reason... This is just my own mindset, right? Sometimes I feel like I'm only noticed because I donated so much to them. Mm. When it was like the donations were out of kindness. Like, when I do stuff like that, it's like I'm never expecting anything in return, right? Like, I'm just trying to help someone out. Yeah. So it's just like, I don't know. Wait, why'd she ask you to stop donating? Uh, because I was going to be playing with them. Like, cause she, like, going, like, part of their circle, kinda. So. The only game really I play with though. her is CS, though. Yeah. Well, she's, well, she said it'd be weird if I still do donated and was playing with them consistently. Why? I don't <laughs> know. So but I don't. Because, like, you see the biggest streamers in the world donating, like, 1k to each other for the meme. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. But, like, I'll respect her to her request to do that, right? See, the thing is, I, was, I always feel nervous when I uh, donate to Mini still, just because it's like, I don't know if she meant for the, both of them or just for her. I'm like, yeah. Women are weird sometimes. <laughs> Honestly, Let's just be real. Yeah, playing with uh, Sunny though is probably the most relaxed I ever am in CS. Honestly, that's good. Just because it, in my mind, it's like okay, this is for fun. Like I'm just here to have fun and play with friends, right? And maybe, I... maybe that's why. What do you mean? Like maybe that's why she didn't want you to donate to her because she was like, you being a friend is already more than enough. Or yeah. Something like that. She Maybe. probably started to feel bad or something because she didn't donate back to you or whatever. Uh -huh. Since you're more on like a personal friend level, it's probably like <laughs> kind of made it a little awkward, I guess. I don't know. Like not in a bad um... way towards what you were doing, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, Eggman. It's it's kind of, it's kind of like when someone buys you a Christmas present but you can't buy them back. Yeah. You know? Eggman like said that. you women are gross. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh, Zoro. I think mine started tw started watching Twitch and all started with Clay's major minor game and I think when he was streaming called Black Ops Three and since the lag was happening you posted a link or he posted a link to yours and started watching your stream and joined in your voice acting on two three occasions yeah you've been around for a long time Zoro you've been here basically since the start of my channel and thank you so much for sticking around for that long. <laughs> Especially when I was in the military and had a really inconsistent streaming schedule. I spent the last 20 min or 15 minutes talking about this with you, Chexy, and I've just been jumping back and forth between three boxes. <laughs> nice. Just because it's like, do 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 do. You know the boxes on A site? 
Yeah. Yeah, this is the jump that Wait, I can do. Wait, I said a bullet. You said a bullet. What? Of, uh, Inferno? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I was thinking Hey, dust thanks for the bit, Zara. Dust too. <laughs> yeah, dust too. No, I'm jumping from the headshot box to the middle one and then up onto the double. Yeah. Can you do the jump where you where you land on the pixel? The yep. Pillar? I've done it a few times. I can't do it. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it is hard. All right, hold up. I'm gonna um, defend myself real quick because I'm gonna start. Okay, sounds good. Goodbye. Wait, so what branch of the military was in? I was in Air Force under uh, logistics. For five and a half years. Oh, there we go. For five and a half years. And then I uh, got out medically in November 2017. Because my channel command refused to... Like, I already knew I had depression and anxiety in that. And my chain of command refused to... Uh, Refused to acknowledge it, even though I had medical forms doing it. And they are saying that I had it, and then, uh, because of that, they started giving me, uh, disciplinary measures because of my mental health, which is one against the law. But then, because they were doing that, um, my mental health got worse. I ended up almost committing suicide four times in the span of, like, a year and a half, something like that. Yes, agreed. And then, um, after that, uh, I finally got my medical release out of the military. Now I stream full time. And yeah, <laughs> ironically enough, that dark turn is why I'm here now enjoying my life better than ever because, you know, dreaming, hanging out with people. I still have a lot of bits of depression in that, but streaming is one of those things that kind of keeps me away from it because it distracts me, so... I feel like, like, I feel like being, like, I want to be an advocate for mental health just because I've been through it myself and I know how shitty it is to have depression, to have anxiety, and it's just like, no one should have to go through that. If I remember correctly, like, suicide rates right now are higher than ever in teenagers, and it's like, it shouldn't be like that. No one should ever be pushed that far. Like. Uh. Like, uh, for example, I'm going to be doing a special stream coming up at the end of the month for, uh... Bell Let's Talk Day to help raise awareness for mental health and that. Oh. Hey Shark, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you, Buddha. We're just talking about my dark last few years of mental health and how like people like teenage suicide rates are like the highest ever right now. And uh they really shouldn't be, because there's no reason to push someone to that far. And a lot of people like, don't take mental health seriously, but it's one of the biggest killers out there, right? Yeah. So it's like, and me personally going through it, like I was saying, in the span of a year and a half, I attempted suicide four times while I was in the military. And that's the reason I, why I got out of the military uh, medically, was for mental health. And now, like, I feel like I, I just want to push to show people like no matter what happens life does get better yeah so it's like for sure i just want people to be happy like that's one reason why 
I love streaming because it's like, if I can put a smile on one person's face, then I've done my job in my mind. Yeah. No, that's, that's exactly what I like to do too, because like, you know, streaming for me is, I mean, I, I really like to be involved with the community. Um, and I, I like to be supportive of the community that I'm able to create with uh, Twitch. Exactly. Which gives you a really good platform to, um, you know, kind of share your life with and share yeah. other people's experiences. Exactly. You can bring everyone on the way with you. Yeah. I'm actually struggling right now. <laughs> I won't lie. Just because well, talking about mental health and that. Yeah. It's, it's just, a hard subject to talk about, especially when your life has been affected by it a yeah. lot. Like, I won't lie. I'm choked up right now. <laughs> like, I'm okay. trying to keep it together. Because it's like, yeah. that's one of the reasons why I uh, watch Mini Lad so much uh, mm -hmm. while I was in the military. And they actually made him, uh, because it was one of the few things that was helping me, they made him a part of my actual recovery. Because it was one of the few things that actually made me happy, was watching his videos. Yeah. So, uh, what's called? I uh, told him that it, what's called? Like, through a donation, and then uh, him and I talked about it. When we were uh, at TwitchCon. Huh? And, uh, it's called. And he's the same way, right? It's like if he, he can make one person smile with his video, he's done his job. And it's like. I want to be like that too. Because I know how bad I can be. So it's like, it's one of my biggest pushes for streaming right now is just to, you know, try to make someone else happy. Yeah, it's a good goal to have, man. I mean, what's what's the point of streaming if if you uh, if you don't have a goal first of all, and then you know, selfish yeah. goals don't really feel no as good to fulfill. That's why it's, it's nice like, to know that you're helping people. It's like if I look at my viewer count and I see one, or if I see 50, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, I don't look at my viewer The only reason I, I look at my viewer count is because I can see it on my, uh, like on my stream deck. So. Gotcha. Even then, it's not updated all the time, so it's kind of inaccurate. <laughs> But I'm waiting for, I'm actually waiting for a, uh, 